Lately, I've been seeing a lot of things about research on the writer sites and newsletters that I follow. What? Fiction writers need to research? Yes, yes, my friend, fiction writers need to research. But a lot of times the tips and hints and procedures that you'll find on those sites are aimed at nonfiction writers and research will look a little bit different for fiction writers. Okay, so yes, you have to research. Okay, write what you know, but still there's gonna be a few things you don't know, whether you need to find out um, the how much miles are between two cities you're using in your story. So you know how long it takes to, to drive there. Um, a name of a coffee shop, um, what kind of hours a construction worker works in July, what the conditions are like, what sort of equipment they use. And on the list could go, depending on your situation, your setting, your characters, your problem. So yes, you are going to need to do some research. And my first thing is a warning, beware the rabbit hole. I've been to Google and type in my question in the search bar and an hour later, I've been to seven different websites and I can't even remember the original question I typed in possibly because I got sucked into some, oh, that's interesting, click. I wanna find out more about that. Oh, well, that's really interesting, click. And you know, those clicks just take you farther and farther away. Beware, because that's spending a lot of time. And if you only have two hours for writing time and you just got sucked down the rabbit hole for an hour, that only, that means half your time that you have allotted for writing was used up for research. Not that research isn't important, but beware the rabbit hole. So now, how much is too much information? That becomes the problem. If I spent, which I did, okay, um, one of the early young adult books I wrote, I needed to know about volcanoes. My One of my characters' dad was a volcanologist and the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, one that happens in the future, not the one in the past, was central to the plot of my story. And so I needed to know about different types of volcanoes and how they might be inter intertwined and all this stuff. I needed a lot of information and I had a lot of research and I had an Evernote uh, notebook. I think I probably still have that notebook with all these different facts, factoids and everything. But when I went to the manuscript, oh, this was so interesting. And suddenly him and his dad are having a conversation that does not need to be in the book. But wait, I know all these cool factoids. I want to share them. No, my reader did not come to learn about volcanoes. If they learn a few facts, cool. Maybe they'll be excited, maybe they won't. But it needs to pertain to the story or to the character's job. So it's easy to put too much in there if you've spent a lot of time researching. That is not me giving you permission not to spend time researching. That is me saying, be aware that most of the stuff you find is gonna be just to give you a working knowledge so that you can write about it in a flowing way that makes you sound like you know what you're talking about so that it's believable, okay? The next thing, so the way I do it is I generally add the facts on the rewrite. Now, if I have a character who has a disorder, which I did in a, a story that I wrote, and so I did a lot of research before I started writing about that, so I could figure out how I could add different episodes and what sort of treatment and yada yada, so that I could form my story around those things that would be believable to the readers, okay? So, and that would help, so I would have, you know, realistic plot line. That's one thing. But there's lots of times when I'm like, okay, blah, 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 and add facts about what that means here. And I will actually type that into my rough draft and on I go. 
Why? Because I'm in the story. I'm in the flow. And if I stop, because I need to go get a couple little facts, I lose that. I lose that momentum. So that's me. And everyone's writing style is different. But if you're new, I would encourage you to just type in that stuff. Some fact about the weather in Seattle. And on you go. Whatever it is, whatever research item you need there. Um, what the doctor calls that instrument he uses for blah, blah, blah. And on you go. Okay. So why is research important to, for fiction writers? Because our due diligence and our research will win our readers. Because sure, a lot of readers might not know anything about how an emergency room works behind the scenes. If I have an emergency nurse, maybe is my main character, but there will be some. And if I get it all wrong, they're going to be rolling their eyes. They're going to go and they're going to throw the book across the room and they are going to leave a scathing review about how obviously that author did not do their homework and figure out how it really works in an emergency room. I don't want that sort of um, review on the books I write, on the stories I write, and neither do you. So our due diligence in getting the facts and getting them right will win readers approval. And here is a cool thing about the social media network that you have. You have access probably to someone who is going to be in the profession of the character you want to write. Drop them, make a post. I need a cake decorator to who doesn't mind spending a few minutes with me to answer some questions about this. How do I know this? Because um, I wrote a story recently of, that included a ferret and I dated someone who had a ferret a long, long time ago, but I knew someone on social media, another writer who had a ferret, who fosters lots of ferrets. And so I was like, ah. I went straight to her and asked her tons of questions and I might have had four sentences in this flash fiction piece about what this fair did, but I knew all of it, all 100% of it was accurate to what a fair would really do because of interviewing my source who really owns ferrets and knows about them. So your readers will thank you and you'll learn something too. So yes, you have to do research, but it won't be like writing a report back in the good old days. It'll be fun.